All right, guys, so it is the 17th, two days out. Showing you guys what I'm packing for lunch today. Got my chicken, got my spinach, my asparagus, breakfast. Let's go get a morning weight. I am wearing a hoodie, sweatpants, and my shoes are on. Well, let's just see where we're at. All right, here we go. So with shoes on, we're at 238, that's fine. I had to drink a little bit of water this morning. Like I said, I got my shoes, my sweats, my hoodie on and everything. I have not cut any water yet. So no need to you know do anything crazy or panic or anything. We're in a good spot. I feel good. I've officially finished my workouts yesterday for the week. So the next two days, I will be taking it easy and relaxing as far as exercise goes. Um, but today I'll be working until 1130, at which point I will go get my exfoliation done and get a haircut. And from there, I'll be going to get my first round of spray tan. So going to be looking extra crispy tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to be touching it up. So, uh, I'll see you guys when I leave work this early afternoon. And uh, I'll catch you guys then. I'm going to go ahead and dig into breakfast. Go downstairs, do a little bit of posing before I go to work. at 6.43, so I'm doing good on time. And, uh, yeah, talk to you guys in a couple right, hours. guys, time for my 9 a.m. snack. Getting a little hungry. Just got my spinach and mushrooms. Going to dig into this. And then before I leave here today, I'm going to have my grilled chicken, asparagus, and a cup of rice and I'll see you guys at that next meeting. All righty guys, we have got the exfoliation done, got the haircut done. We are on the way to get the spray tan and uh, we're gonna be looking extra crispy, extra handsome, extra lean, extra mean. So very excited. I feel much better than I did this morning. I expected to feel really good today um but honestly <laughs> honestly i felt like shit um early this morning but now i feel good i got me a little nap in and uh for my two lunches that i've had i had asparagus a cup of rice and um some chicken and then for my second meal i had some chicken and i want to say like 130 grams of rice so uh I feel much better now. Uh, I've really tapered my water down. I'm not um, cutting it out, but you know, instead of drinking two gallons, over two gallons, like I normally do, I'll probably only be drinking anywhere from three fourths to a gallon today. And then I'll probably keep it uh, just a little bit lower than that tomorrow, not too low. But uh, right now I can already see major, major differences and my body composition, the way it looks, just how everything's popping from reducing my water intake. I'm already, you can tell I'm not holding near as much water and my vascularity, especially my abdominals, is just, not to sound vain, but exquisite right now. And uh, I know it's only gonna get better. And right now I'm kind of just eating like I would on a typical cutting high carb day. And uh, I'm just gonna go off how I look at the end of the day. And I imagine tomorrow I'll probably eat a whole lot of the same. And I'll just be kind of assessing how my body looks and is responding to it, to whether I up or lower the carbs. Don't imagine I'll be going much lower, but uh, my carb sources are just rice and I'm gonna be having a little bit of fruit. And uh, I might have some, I will have something sweet the day of the show, especially before I step on stage. I don't know what yet. I'm kind of feeling some Smuckers Uncrustables. That sounds pretty damn amazing right now, but uh, we'll see. You know, right now my mood is drastically improved. I'll be getting to eat carbs or the rest of the meals today. I'll be cutting out veggies completely, probably around lunchtime tomorrow if I had to guess, because I don't want to have any extra fiber or anything sitting on my stomach for long periods of time that's going to make me bloat or make my stomach kind of push out 
if that makes sense. So that's, that's the whole reason I've, uh, you know, cut back, especially on my watery vegetables, such as squash and uh, things of that nature. I'm trying to get kind of uh, more dry substances in me. That way, you know, that will help with my overall water consumption. And uh, at the end of the day, I'll be holding less water because uh, I want my glycogen storages to be full. That's why I want carbohydrates, but I don't want to spill over and have a negative effect to where I'm holding too much water under my skin. And it sort of makes you look fatter than what you really are. So, uh, you know, a whole lot of science behind it, just a whole lot of trial and error and everybody's gonna respond differently. Nobody's gonna have two of the same, what, what works for me will work for you guaranteed type of deal. But, uh, you know, I feel like I'm pretty good at assessing my own body and, um, you know, timing my macros pretty well. I've got, I feel like I've gotten that down pat pretty well. And I'm in good shape, so there's no need to try anything crazy. Uh, just a few minor tweaks here and there is uh, the outlook that we've got today and otherwise ready to kick some ass this weekend but I'll see you guys in a few let's see it's 2.38 now probably a little over an hour I got about 20 more minutes before I get there um, but next time you see me I will be a few shades darker so gonna be, gonna be looking good we'll see you soon all right, guys, take me a little video before we get going here. Just finished round one. I'll have round two in the morning. Uh, it already looks pretty dark, but it's gonna get much darker as it sets in by the time morning rolls around. Probably maybe a couple shades darker, and then I'll come back and uh, get sprayed again. But uh, very excited. Um, check myself out in the mirror. Everything looks good and tight, and uh, yeah, man, spray tan makes everything better. <laughs> it's just awesome. You know, the way uh, just your skin tone can change the lines and everything and how you see the striations in your body, it really makes a big, big difference, especially whenever you get on that stage and get under the stage lighting. You know, a lot of people or really anybody can look good on Instagram, you know, as far as, you know, filters and, you know, uh, taking a picture by themselves. Whenever you get up on stage, you know, and you got your, uh, you know, everybody's, everybody's got their spray tan and, you know, it's a fair playing field and the lights are hitting you. It, uh, it, it, don't, it doesn't lie. So, uh, feel very good compared to how I looked today to how I looked back in April. And, uh, I'm coming in much bigger. I'm heavier. And, uh, in my opinion, I'm every bit as lean, if not leaner. So, uh, yeah, I feel fantastic and, uh, gonna head home. It's 3.51, we'll just might as well round it up to four o'clock. By the time I get home, it'll be 4 30 and uh, take care of the dogs. Eat, eat a little something around five. Probably have some chicken and rice and maybe banana or something. I may hold off on the fruit until tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much a wrap for what I got to do today. And um, tomorrow I'll come back at 10 a.m. is the plan and get round two. And uh, then I just got to go to the grocery store and get my goodies, like I said, and uh, head up to Charlotte. So things are going fantastic. I feel awesome. Things are coming into uh, coming into play very well, just as just I, as I had hoped. Everything's going good, and yeah. So I'll see you guys. Probably make another video tonight. Get a little wait before I go to bed. But um, right now, all that there's left to do is just uh, stay stress-free, rest up, get my meals in, and uh, just really just keep my eye on the prize and, you know, stay positive. So I'll see you guys tonight. Looking good, feeling good. Catch you later. All righty, guys. Last meal of the night. Got some asparagus. Got my egg whites on the stove cup of rice in the microwave it is 7 12 let's go get a weight see what we're wearing right now watch out buddy excuse me bella all right here we go and we are 235.8 perfect so last I guess it was Saturday when I weighed before I went to bed. I was 245.8, if I'm not mistaken. 
and uh, going to bed tonight at 2.35. And you guys have seen what a night's worth of uh, weight fluctuation can do. Now, obviously, I have not drank as much water today, so it's not going to be that big a difference as it was last week. But uh, within three pounds of the weight limit, we're going to be just fine tomorrow. Weigh-ins are at 5 to 6.30. Probably weighing at five tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna keep my water down so it's easy to make weight. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in this last meal of the day. Enjoy it, get to bed early tonight. Get my spray tan round two tomorrow. Looking extra crispy right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow.